Hi friends, we all of us use a calculator for complex calculations or to reduce our time to complete our calculations fast. Have you ever thought to create your own calculator? Now in this video, I want to explain how to design a mini, mini calculator which it can perform addition and subtraction operation. For designing this calculator app, I'm using code.org software. Now let's go for code.org software. Go for Google and search with the name of code.org and sign in with your account. This is the dashboard of code.org. Now for create an app, select an app lab. Now go for an option of create. Select the app lab. This is the page of app lab where we are going to design our app. Here this is the work area where we are going to write our program. Blocks area which we are going to drag and drop. This is the screen area or the result area which we can see after writing the program and by clicking a run. For designing the app, first we require a components or the designing elements. So now I want to give the two text inputs. For giving the two text inputs, uh, first number and second number and uh, it should have performed addition and subtraction operation for, and I require an answer block. So now let's go, go for designing part click on the design and now select the blocks of give the text inputs before that change the background color which makes you a little bit uh, nice to show your calculator so now i'm giving the text inputs one and two we can change the inputs uh, text input sizes like one and two name it as now this is my text input one and this is my text input two now I want to reduce the size. Go for width and give the number like 100 or 150. How much size you want, just you can give it. Now click on the second one and name it, name, give it as same size. So one, the first one I given as 100 right? and the second one also I'm giving 100. Now I want the two buttons for creating addition and subtraction. Select the blocks of two buttons. For, for this, I want to change it an ID uh, like first one is plus. And my text input should be plus sign. So this is the second one or so that I will be changing with the minus. Text input as minus. If you want to increase the font size or to show your minus little bit, change it to little bit. And after changing, if you want to change the background color, click on the background color and select the color which do you like. Now I want to make little bit circular shape. Go to the border radius and give more than 150. You can give like 160 or 170 so that it makes you to be like little bit curved one. And I'm decreasing the size now. So in the same way, go for the first one and name it as plus ID. Because we are, I'm changing the ID to make my code easy when I'm programming. This is the ID of plus. And now text as sign of plus. So now I want to first, I'll change the background color of the plus sign. So, and now I'll be changing the border radius to 150 or 160 more than the 150. Now I'm little, making it a little bit small. Yes, you can use the cursor on the screen and you can make it more up and down or you can change the size, place of your blocks also. After giving the these inputs, I want to give the title of my project is mini calculator. So give the label as mini calculator. Change the font size so that you can give the text a little bit bigger. Now go for text and name it as mini calculator. Mini calculator. My don't give any space in between the characters. Mini calculator. So this is my title of the project. Now I want to see the answer after adding the uh two inputs for that select the one more label block drag it and drop it this is a second label instead of label to make it as answer block 
answer block and here give it text as result. Or here also, if you want to change the ID also result, just you can change your idea, ID as result. Now I want to increase the font size, go for font size and increase the font size. And you can change the color of your result also. It's a background color now, font color. That is text color. So this is my result where if, if you after adding the addition, you'll be getting your result in the result area. Now my designing part is done. Now let's go for coding part and do the coding. So first I want to give the two inputs. So click on on event for that. I want to perform first addition operation that is plus sign. Click on the plus. After selecting the plus, select the block called set number because I should give two inputs numbers and select the block of math for selecting the addition operation. My ID should be first, I'm, I should get the answer in result area that had given an ID as answer. Click on the answer. Now give the input number that are get numbers. Select the get number in first block and in the same way select, in the, select the get number in the second block. So my first number, first you should get the number of text input one and now second you should select the input of two. Right, now select, this is my simple code for creating the addition operation. Now let's see how my addition operation is going to run. Click on the run and give the data. I'm giving three digit number and just click on the plus sign, you can see your result. In this way, you can perform addition operation. Now, if I want to perform subtraction addition, subtraction operation, in the same way, select on event and select the block of minus. Now, select the num block of set number. How to set the number? Give it as it should get in the result place. That is answer. Now, go for math and select the minus sign for performing subtraction operation. Now I should give, give two inputs that are get numbers, get number ID one, and the same is select one more get number. Give it as first one as text input one minus text input two. So right, now, I had, now I'm done with my coding part. Now let's see our result. Click on the run and give some random number or you can give any specific number. So I'm subtracting some number, click on the minus. Right, now we have performed the minus operation. Now you suppose if I want to add this both, click on the plus sign. So you can uh, do addition or subtraction for giving one, two inputs at a time. So this is a way of designing a calculator for performing addition and subtraction. Now, if you want to view my code, I'll be providing my link of the code in the description box. You can view my code. Thank you.